On my way to Tire Kingdom, I noticed that my tire was almost completely flat. I filled up the tire, was able to make it back home. Damn, I must have the best damn luck of the century. I drove all the way here. Homie said, come by. As soon as I get there, he's like, the tool we used to do the touchless tire repairs is damaged right now. It just broke. So I basically drove all the way here for no reason. I think he was just bullshitting and they probably didn't have the tool. Gonna head back home. I wasted the miles. The tire seems to be holding pressure, so I'm not gonna worry about it until I see it happen again, but I'm kind of annoyed. Day two of the fiasco with this car. I learned a valuable lesson. When you have an exotic car and there's no dealership nearby, it is a pain in the ass to handle any type of servicing. I'm on my way to a different tire kingdom, this time in Lake Mary. I called, they said they had the machine working. Hopefully they're not wasting my time and we can get this thing repaired. I'm out. Crazy, man. Second day with the same situation over and over again. I'm so f***ing exhausted. Got the touchless repair. It took like 15, maybe 20 minutes for him to take the tires off. He said there was a nail in the thread. And then my driver's side back tire was on backwards. So they flipped it in the right direction. Two days of hassle for 15 minutes worth of work. And they didn't even charge me. I'm just glad I got that over with made it out to Sanford Cars and Coffee. When I pulled up, the owners, the previous owner of my car was actually here. And they started giving me like the whole backstory of the car. Pretty cool small world. They have an Arturo now. They decided to come out to Orlando Cars and Coffee because it was closer to my house than Central Florida Cars and Coffee. I'm gonna say the word Zoe in every one of your no, posts no, 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 moving no. forward. <laughs> He's burnt out from the scene, man. Before I got my car, when I had the Porsche, I would have like people hitting me up to go to like all kinds of shows and stuff. Yesterday there was a show in Titusville. My girlfriend lives in Titusville, so I could have like hit two birds with one stone, but I didn't even know there was a show because nobody told me. Then I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see all the people that- Why are you bothered by that? It's hard to know what's going on if nobody's telling you. Everybody's fighting and it's just ridiculous, dude. I come out to these events to have fun on the weekends, not to have like more drama and more stress. Right, right. You hit me, I can start a car meet at my shop if you want. I have enough room for over 100 cars. Where are you guys at? I'm on uh, between Lee Road and Silver are on OBT across from Grills Lakeside. I gotta move too, bro. Remember I think you have the out. nicest car in all of the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Well, I don't know. Like a few days ago, I was leaving my house. I exited my house and I saw oh, a guy. This guy's running around in a blue bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or spider. Like it's Orange City. I think the net worth of the whole town is that car. <laughs> no offense to Orange City people. Don't get burned out, man. Keep doing it. It pays off. Everybody wants to hear what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Well, some people want to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, this car. This is the 650S that I saw a few days ago when I was leaving my house. Where was I heading? I can't remember where I was going. But I was leaving my house, and when I was exiting my house, I saw this beautiful 650S in the small town of Deltona. Carbon ceramic brakes. Look at the seats. And it's a spider. Now, I don't know if this guy lives in Deltona or not. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he was just driving through. But it was pretty cool to see another 650S. And, I mean, he definitely saw my car, so we, like, flashed to each other. A lot of people don't like these because it kind of has like the back of the 12C, but I do. I think it looks sick. The only thing I like more than this is the 675 LT. A little bit more aggressive. It has a bigger wing. Either way, this is a sick car. Most toxic guy on the internet. Most hated YouTuber ever. No, no, no. No, no. Most loved YouTuber. I wasn't coming till you told me. Really? Yeah. When you yeah. said I'll, I'm going to Sanford, I was like, okay, I guess I'll go. Yeah, I just wanted to get out of the house a little while, man. Glad I came out. I was going to go to Central Florida Cars and Coffee, but it was too far. I'm telling you, these Sanford meets have been getting a lot better. The car owners, they be Maybe some pricks sometimes. Sometimes, dude. Not all of them. Don't Not all of them. Some of them. I just hate the ones that we were talking about. The I'm better than you because I have a car. Then I ran into the, the previous owner of my car when I got here. They told me like the whole backstory, which is pretty good. I mean, it's Imagine not. they told you, yeah, it's actually had frame damage, but we pulled yeah, yeah, it and we didn't report it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done on camera? What would you have done? Damn, bro, I'd sell that shit so fast. Yeah, people just think that you're going to give them a magic bean, man. You know, oh, drop dude. it out the window. <laughs> that video is based off a story. The two other photographers that I tagged in the post, I tagged them because before when I had the story, they grabbed the story and they shared it on their page but they have like one of them had like a hundred thousand followers and he had really good work he had work like official work for bmw official work for mercedes but he was a fucking asshole since he has so many followers i just got a ton of photographers looking at my page like, i got a few followers off of it so let me tag them again so i can trigger him again <laughs> and have him share it again so then i decided to keep it subtle the roof up and the doors closed keep it private yeah. <laughs> Plus, people were hating on me. I wasn't even trying to flex. I mean, the, like, I'm at a car show, dude. Yeah, like, come People on. were getting upset, like, oh, this guy, who does he think he is? Fuck out of here, man. There's so many people that are so petty, bro. You'd be surprised. Turbo gave me a run for my money. Fast as hell.
hell, dude. I haven't seen a Modena since Danny sold his Modena. I would prefer a 430 over this, but I still, this is pretty cool. Engine bay, and it's a spider, and the color is pretty cool. And this Dorado, it's a beautiful Specs Dorado. Got the roof scoop on the top. Alcantara, the yellow trim. Classic Mercedes Z06. I just said the C8's not considered a supercar. I didn't say they were exotics. <laughs> you didn't even listen to the words in my mouth. Wait, you see this? Hey, brother. classic yeah. camera people. No, all these supercar owners want to talk all that shit, but they won't line it up no, with no, the C8Z06. He's like, I'm really disappointed in your comment. I was. I was disappointed <laughs> in it. <laughs> hey, hey, I said it nicely. I was going to say, man went from a 718 to a McLaren, and now he's got balls. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was like, I was like, he's my friend. Let me say this nice. Yeah, yeah. Mid-conversation. Get the C8 is not in car. I didn't say it was. I forgot there was a race today. I'm just not the kind of guy who will sit down and watch a whole race. I'd rather just go home and watch the highlights. <laughs> Nice thing. I encourage everyone to uh, not do that. I just don't do that kind of stuff because I don't want to be the guy who crashes on the way out and then. Or gets a ticket on the way out. I mean, well, you wouldn't want to get pulled I, over, would you? No, no, no. no you that never happens. That to me. never would happen. No, no one would have that happen to them. I'm going to follow sushi, or let me say they're going to follow me home. Next weekend, we are going to Auto Life, Wolf's Den. That should be pretty fire. You guys stay tuned for the video. I'm glad I came out. We're about to roll out. their feathers rattled over a few little cops dude cops cops he said cops on the way here we were trying to like do some pulls but these guys were scared of the cops <laughs> yeah but look look come on dude 